integral of dx all over x square root of 4x squared minus 9. Okay, so kapag yung ating constant nakasubtract sa variable, that is arc second. Kapag yung variable nakasubtract sa constant, that is arc sine. So let's perform the formula that is integral of du all over, that is u, square root of, that is u squared minus a squared. So, that is 1 over A, arc second, the absolute value of U over A plus C. Okay? So, let's try to solve this using this formula. So, in this case, ang U squared natin, yung may variable, so that is 4X squared. And then, yung A squared natin, of course, the constant. Okay? In this case, we're going to solve for a, getting the square root of both sides, that gives you a equals 3. Okay? Get the positive value. And here, uh, that is uh, getting the square root of both sides, that gives you u equals 2x. Okay? So therefore, derivative of u natin is 2dx. Okay? So just substitute in the expression or in the formula so that we will look if kailangan natin mag-balance dito. Okay? So, integral of du natin, that is 2dx. Substitute lang. All over, u natin. Ano yung u natin? u is 2x. And then, you have your square root of u squared minus a squared. Ang u natin is 2x. Quantity squared minus a squared. So, a natin is 3. So, that is 3 squared. Or that is 9. So, equals. So, here, let's take a look kung meron tayong nadagdag na constant. So, basically, yung u natin is 2x. Okay, from our substitution. Pero yung derivative of u natin is 2dx lang naman. Okay? So, basically, we added 2 sa ating uh, numerator. But we added also 2 dun sa ating denominator. So, basically, nag-cancel lang sila. So, therefore, wala tayong dinagdag na constant. So, just perform our formula. Okay? So, 1 over A. A natin is 3. So, 1 third. Arc second. U over A. Ano yung U natin? U is 2X. Over A. A natin is 3. So, that is plus C. So, that is the final answer for this problem. That is our fourth problem. So, let's proceed sa ating next problem. So, we have here the integral, the indefinite integral of x dx all over x raised to 4 plus 3. So, in this case, naka-add siya guys, no? So, that is our tan. So, going back to the formula, integral of d all over, that is u squared plus a squared, is equal to 1 over a arc tangent u over a plus c in this case ang u squared natin is x raised to 4 so therefore getting the square root of both sides so u is x squared okay and then ano yung constant natin so that is a squared so a squared is equal to 3 so therefore a is getting the square root of both sides so that is the square root of 3 Okay, so in this case, ang derivative of u natin is, so power root, ito guys, so that is 2x, derivative of x. And after that, substitute natin sa ating formula. So that is integral of du, ang du natin is 2x dx, all over u squared plus a squared. So u squared is, let's just equal to x squared. Squared. So, u is x squared. So, uh, that is basically x raised to 4. So, plus a squared, which is yung ating square root of 3. Okay, square root of 3 squared or that is just 3. So, square root of 3 squared. So, in this case, uh, huwag muna tayo mag-apply ng formula. No? So, tingnan muna natin kung merong nadagdag sa ating expression. So, in this case, as you can see, meron tayong nadagdag na 2 here. Okay, so that we can satisfy the formula. So, since you added 2 there, so dapat may equal siya dun sa original expression. So, dapat mag-multiply tayo ng 1 half sa labas ng ating integral sign. So that, 
these two expressions here are still equal. Okay, equal pa rin sila. And after that, apply natin yung formula. So don't forget to copy the constant that you have uh, put there to balance the expression. So 1 half times 1 over a. 1 over a, ang a natin is, is square root of 3. So arctan u over a. So ano yung u natin? u is x squared over a. So that is, is square root of 3 plus c. So simplify lang natin guys. No? So that is uh, 1 half. Okay, 1, 2 square root of 3. 1 all over 2 square root of 3 arctan. Arctangent. So that is x squared over is square root of 3, and then plus C. So, that is now the final answer for this problem. Uh, okay, so you can rationalize that, uh, but this is still acceptable as a final answer. So, you can multiply uh, here uh, square root of 3 all over square root of 3, so that gives you square root of 3 over 6. Okay, so same expression as this. So, if you rationalize that, so let's multiply uh, square root of 3, over 3 here and the square root of 3 over 3 here so that we can actually express that into a uh, rationalized uh, fraction. So that will give us square root of 3 over, so that is 2 times, so square root of 3 times square root of 3, so 3, so that's just 2 times 3, so that gives you 6. And then arc time, so x squared times square root of 3, so that is x squared square root of 3 all over, that is square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is 3, and then plus C. So this can also be the final answer for this problem. So a more simplified expression of this work. So that is the final answer, guys, for this problem. So let's proceed sa ating next problem. And this problem, so that is integral of dx all over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x. So, ito guys, diba, as you can see, uh, naka-add siya. So, most probably, uh, arc tangent yung gagamitin natin. But the problem here is, wala tayong constant. Okay? So, that is your e raised to x, so exponential parehas. So, para magkaroon tayo ng constant, so, mag-multiply tayo ng e raised to x. Okay? So, kasi kapag nag-multiply ka ng e raised to x dyan, e raised to negative x times e raised to x. Okay? is just equal to e raised to 0, which is a constant. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng constant kapag nag-multiply ka ng e raised to x on both sides of the uh, numerator and denominator. Okay, so that's the rule. So dapat kung ano yung minultiply mo sa denominator, yun din ang multiply natin sa numerator. Okay, so this is your uh, exponent rule, di ba? So that is uh, negative x plus x. Okay? Uh, exponent, negative x plus x. So, even you're multiplying same base, different exponents, just add the exponents so that becomes 0, e raised to 0, and then that is now a constant. So, that's why we're going to multiply here e raised to x uh, sa numerator tsaka denominator. Okay, so let's do that. So, that is uh, dx all over, so e raised to x plus e raised to negative x. And then multiply tayo ng e raised to x all over e raised to x. So this becomes a uh, integral of e raised to x dx all over. So that is e raised to x times e raised to x plus distribute natin yung e raised to x dun sa denominator natin. So that is e raised to negative x. Okay, times e raised to x. Okay, so this gives us an expression equivalent to integral of e raised to x dx all over. So, yung e raised to x times the quantity e raised to x. So, that's just e raised to x plus x. Okay, just add the exponent or e raised to 2x. Okay, so that is e raised to 2x. And then, yung e raised to negative x times e raised to x, so that is e raised to negative x plus x, you just add the exponent, so that is e raised to 0 or 1, so this is plus 1. Okay, that's it. We have an expression na pwede natin gamitan ng arc tangent. Okay, so yun yung goal natin uh, earlier. So, uh, let's try to 
perform the formula. So, the integral of d all over that is u squared plus a squared is equal to 1 over a. So, that is arctangent u over a plus c. So, in this case, ang u squared natin, of course, yung my variable. So, u squared equals e raised to 2x. And, of course, yung ating a squared is just yung ating uh, constant. Okay, so that is 1. So therefore, A is 1, getting the square root of both sides. So here, getting the square root of both sides, so U equals, of course, that is E raised to X. So the square root of E raised to 2X is E raised to X. Okay? So uh, we will find now derivative of U. Okay, derivative of U equals, okay, let's uh, go back to the formula. So copy lang natin si E raised to X. Then, differentiate natin yung exponent. So, ano yung derivative ng x natin here? So, that is derivative of x. So, yan yung differential niya. Okay? So, after that, substitute natin dun sa ating uh, kay formula. So, integral of d yun natin, that is e raised to x dx all over. So, that is uh, u squared plus a squared. So, yung u squared natin, that is e raised to 2x. Yung a squared natin is 1. So, plus 1. Equals 1 over a, 1 over 1, arctan, arctangent. So, that is u over a. Ano yung u natin? u is e raised to x all over a, which is 1. So, plus c. So, let's just simplify that as arctan, arctangent e raised to x plus c. So, this is now the final answer. For this problem. So thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope that you have learned something from this. So if you are not yet subscribed to this channel. Just click the subscribe button. And then yung notification bell. So that you'll get notified on our future videos. Just like this one. Thank you guys. And see you on my next video.